Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This guy specifically is the 3 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the AC air conditioner doesn't blow cold air. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. And it could be something that most people will never actually check. Stay with us, we'll explain about that, about fuses that you need to check, where you can buy guys cheap fuses, parts, tools, AC compressors, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We'll share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So here we'll demonstrate on 2013 BMW 3 Series. Multiple things can cause your air conditioner not to blow cold air. One thing quite common is low on freon. If you have a leak somewhere in the system, condenser or holes, even AC compressor leaking, you will have no freon that will cause the AC not to work. Number two, could be bad AC clutch. We have a video on the channel how to replace and how to test AC clutch. Number three, it could be bad AC compressor. Number four, AC compressor pressure solenoid. Number five, AC pressure switch, guys. If it's not working, your AC will not work. Number six, air, uh, the air conditioner fan, which is known as radiator fan. If your fan doesn't work, your AC most likely will not work. The engine and computer will actually deactivate it so the car does not overheat. So we need to test your radiator fan. We have videos on the channel how to do that. Uh, you need to check fuses and relays for radiator fan as well. Also guys, okay, it could be a blend door actuator. The blend door actuator is that device on the inside behind the dash that uh, turns from hot to cold. Most people don't think about that, but it could be a better blend door actuator that's uh, actually stuck in the hot position. Next, guys, on that car you have up to six different fuse boxes. Today we'll work on two of them. Uh, one is when you open the hood in front of the windshield on the passenger side and behind the shock tower you have a fuse box. Once you open it, guys, you'll see that layout here. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and realize because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below what do you guys have here specifically now so if we come here now okay that uh, row of fuses is towards the windshield side this is the front of the bmw passenger side driver side here you need to check that fuse number 35 34 33 that fuse number 33 is the one that you need to check fuse number 56 right here then you go to a different fuse box that's hidden it's on the inside on the passenger side in the full well you will need to remove the kick panel here we have a video how to do that if you need help here you have another fuse box and you need to count fuse number one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fuse number ten right here we need to be checked hopefully guys the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching see you next time